Today we're going to customize a black leather strap for this Skagen watch. Uh, this Skagen is, was probably one of their most popular models for a very long time. However, they discontinued this watch and now a lot of people are uh, needing watch straps for this and they are no longer available. And this was sort of a unique watch strap because it integrated into the case. As you can see, there's a small curve here and then, it, uh, then there's two metal uh, pieces right here by the case that extend. So we're going to have to cut this watch strap to integrate into this Skagen case. Now this model is a 433 LSLB. Now on the back of the watch of the Skagen you can see here um, right underneath the brand Skagen you'll see 433 LSLB and that's how you can identify the type of model that your Skagen is. So now we're going to begin with the uh, customization of the strap. Here I have the black leather. I chose a 20 millimeter because as you can see the watch, the, the case is 20 millimeter and it, if you align it next to the case with the strap you can see that it's flush. Now I'm going to need to cut the edges about one millimeter so that they can fit into this uh, case here. So what I'm going to do here is with a black sharpie I'm going to mark one millimeter on the edge right here so I can know where to begin cutting. And it doesn't have to be exact because essentially it's going to be underneath and the case is going to block everything. You just want to get approximate, uh, approximate size. So I'll go ahead and mark that here and here. Now with uh, with my handy cutter that I have here, I'm going to go ahead and trim the edges. Um, this is perfect because it's very thin, it's very sharp, and it, it, it cuts very clean. All right. Go ahead and cut that on that side. And then on this side here. And I'll show you guys up close once I finish the cut. So as you can see the edges here are etched out with the razor and now I can see if that fits in here which it does okay see how it fits in there with the case all right all right so now what I'm gonna do is this entrance here is very thin and this strap is thick as you can see it's about two or three millimeters thick over here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flatten it out with uh, flathead pliers uh, over here. So I'm just going to squeeze this, apply some uh, pressure here with the pliers, just kind of break it in, do that for a few seconds, and this will flatten out. Okay. There we go. So, all right. Now once this is flat, I'm going to grab my spring bar pins, which are right here. I'm going to try to go ahead and ins insert the spring bar pin into the hole here. All right. Now sometimes you'll need to curve the spring bar pin, which is what I'm going to do right here. This, um, this tool here will actually curve the spring bar pin. Alright. 
So now that that's all the way through on both sides and visible, I'm gonna go ahead and install it into one end here. Okay, as long as you hear it snap, I can see that that's in there secure. One side in, the other side snapped in there. I have both spring bars and now you can see one side is complete. So we finished customizing one side of the leather strap for this watch. And we're basically going to repeat the same thing for the other side. So now I'm going to continue with uh, cutting the other half of the strap, which is the 12 o'clock side. Okay, I'm going to grab my, uh, my razor cutter. I'm going to shave off about one millimeter on each side. Okay. You can see that little piece of leather right there that just cut off. And I can actually, so this is such a sharp razor that you can actually just pick it up and kind of adjust it with your hand. If you need any minor, to make any minor adjustments to the leather, you can do that. Here we go, and I took off the other piece here. And let me give you, show you guys how that looks right here. Okay, now I'm going to grab the, um, the pliers and I'm going to flatten this out. As I mentioned, this is thicker usually is, it has some padding it also has a plastic tube inside the hole here for security um, just you know to ensure uh, the strength towards the end of the strap so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flatten that out okay hold that for a few seconds like this all right that should be good nice and flat now the spring bar I'm gonna curve the spring bar a little bit Now the reason why I'm curving the spring bar is because when you put the spring bar in straight, sometimes it's very hard for it to attach to the strap because of the uh, way that this case is built. When you have it curved, it's much easier to to act to attach to both sides. Just it's just the way that the case is built. Okay. So here we go, got the spring bars showing on both sides and I'm gonna go ahead and attach that. I'm trying to do this so that you can see, but pushing it in with my flathead screwdriver right here, I, I push the spring bar down, push it in until I hear it click and connect with the uh, hole here. All right, perfect. So now, Here's the final product. As you can see, we've customized the leather strap for this very popular blackface Skagen watch. Once again, the model is 433 LSLB. Um, and there's two versions. One installs with spring bars, one installs with screws. This is the version that installs with spring bars. And this is the one that's actually discontinued. So anybody wanna send us this type of watch to get a custom band? Uh, we do several of these uh, a day, I would say. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed this video.